Yeah, we're gonna get them right here. Listen to this. Listen to this shit. Fuck YouTube. YouTube with your ads. Listen to YouTube with their ads that they put on here. Is your life uncertain? Are you anxious? Are you worried about the future? Oh, here, press here. Press here so we can press this button so we can help you. Man, the only reason our lives are uncertain or anything is because of them. They're the only reasons why. And YouTube used to never have ads. Had nothing to ever say. Anytime they ever have something to say to you, it's to tell you that life is uncertain. Is your is your future uncertain? Are you uns are you anxious? Well, come here. That they created the uncertainty. They want you to feel uncertain. They want your life to be uncertain. Okay. They you know they don't want you to have serenity in your life. They want it to be uncertain, and they're going to make sure it is with everything that they fucking do till you wake up until you go to sleep. You're going to be worried and in fear and and and, and feel uncertain about your future all the time. That's what they want you to feel uncertain. Remember that word, uncertain. Are you uncertain? Are you anxious? They want you anxious and depressed and uncertain. That's what they work towards making you feel. And that's and they're going to tell you that with every word. That's what the, the ad is there to predictably program you to feel that way. Okay? You wouldn't normally even think of that. But they're going to make you, now that they brought it up, see? They created the problem. Then they give you the solution. See? They, they, they create the problem. Then what do you, you, what do you do? You look for the solution and then they give you the solution. See, they create, they create it, and they, then they, they end it, and they control every fucking thing with, that we do. You have to have permission for everything that that you do. You know, they make sure of that. You have to have their permission for everything. There were, then, then a leaf didn't fell without our permission. Not a leaf fell without our permission. That was the, one of their sayings, the Freemason sayings. You know, when they brought drop the big trees, you know, in nature, and the big trees that were here before. They said, not a leaf fell without our permission. And if you look around, not anything happens without their permission, you know. And everybody, not a leaf, all the trees around you and everything are controlled. You know, you got landscapers that come through and you can't touch them. You can't touch any trees around you, but they can, but you can't. It's illegal. If you do it, you go to jail. You go try chopping down a tree. Do it so you're going to end up in jail. You know what I mean? But it's okay. But they, but they work through their little system to where they, they, they control who controls those trees and who gets to grow them and who gets to, who gets to have fruits from the trees and who gets to own trees around here. You see what I'm saying? You know, you can only own a tree if you own a little bit of land and you can grow something on that land, but you still never own the land. They, they, you have to pay property tax, so you're never going to own land. Everything we have in this world is temporary. You know, they, and uh, you know, you're never going to own anything. You know, so don't don't feel like you you you're, you're going to be in. They want you to if you feel like you get you know you don't get, get planted solid in one place, or you're going to you're going to lose everything. Your whole life is going to get lost there. You know that's what's happening to us here. You wake up in the morning, there's Kim trails going by. You know, spraying right in front of the sun, right in front of the sun. You know, and uh, blocking my sun when I'm trying to look at it, showing you that you know they don't want you getting that good sun. They don't want you getting that that your pineal gland to activate with the sun and the healing that comes from the sun. The evil bastards, you know, that from beginning to, to, to our day to the end, it's pure torture, you know, pure torture, man. And uh, it's not right. I'm here to expose it all. And that's what I'm going to go out and do. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to expose it all. And then I'm taking off from here and I'm going to go expose it all. Like I'm telling you that you all need to do. Fuck this, man. Don't stay. Don't, don't stay here. Don't do, don't do what they say. Don't do anything that they say. You know, that, that they've got you tricked. We've been tricked. We've been duped at every level. They lie to you about the shape of your earth. They lie to you about everything. You know, everything. Everything's backwards of what they say. It's opposite. Whatever they say is opposite. You know, if they, if they, I, and if they say that someone's a man, and then, then it's a girl. If it's a girl, it's a, it's, it's a man. You know, Donald Trump's a freaking girl. Demi Moore, the actress, that's a guy. And Bruce Willis, you know, that's, a, that's, a, that's, that's the husband. Look at them closely. You'll see who's, who's more masculine. Look at Demi Moore's body. Compared to Bruce Willis's body now, too. Look at Demi Moore. Why is she starring in all these flicks with the tough, the tough chick? You know, look at her neck. Her neck looks like mine. You know, what I mean, Demi Moore looks like my body. Okay, this is what a man's body looks like. Like me, I'm a man. Okay, where men, when we get old, I'm 54, and Demi Moore looks better as she's getting older. She's getting more. Same with Madonna. There's another good example. There's another ma male to female. Madonna's a man, and so is Demi Moore. They're, they're all men in Hollywood. They're all, all everybody's reversos. They're, and and the, 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 the women are, 
are men and the men are women, and they they, they, and they do this symbol right here with the bat, baphomet. With this, this means both both sexes. They're both sexes. You know what I mean? They think they are, but you know, it's really a man. You know what I mean? They tell you they're one thing, and then they lie just about the like they do about the shape of the earth. They lie about everything, everything. Okay, and they're not even the same sex that they say they are. Okay. And that's why when you look at my body, you know, look at how I age as I'm getting older. Look at look at my hair. I look great. My hair looks perfect. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting I'm I'm getting better looking and younger looking and better looking and and look at how I'm skinny and boxy looking and, and bony and full of muscles. You know, look at like like you know, look at me. I, you know, I come from look at this forest shirt. Isn't this shirt badass with this flower of life? Symbol uh, necklace right here. So I'm going back to the forest, baby. So this is a man's body right here. This is what a man looks like. You know, we're boxy looking. We got big shoulders, big wide shoulders. Come up and you know, look at my neck. You know, this is like Jimmy Moore's neck. And Bruce Willis right now looks like looks like a dumpy woman. I mean, it's probably a woman. You know, and they're all reversal, but we know Jimmy Moore is a man. You know, and Madonna is, and uh, and uh, and, and uh, what is it? Uh, a lot of these uh. uh Actors in Hollywood that are that, that are male or female too, you know. So uh, beware, warning, warning, and uh, they got a transgender agenda going on, you know. And Donald Trump's a Donna Trump. That's that's a female, you know, an invert in the womb, and uh, that's what they're trying to do is is, is change the sexes of everybody. Once they control the sex and the gender of everybody, then they got control of everything, you know. But you know, I, I'm a man at 54. This is what a man looks like. I'm not look at all these these men that, that are fat and dumpy, and you know that's not a man. A true man looks like that's why Demi Moore is a, 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 a man and looks like her body is looks like a looks like an MMA fighter, like a, like my body, you know. So that's why she stars in, in in movies where she's fighting and Bruce Willis isn't anymore. Okay, so uh, you better wake up to the transgender agenda and what's really going on in this world. You know, and how they got you fooled with everything. Everything you think is real is a lie and different than you think it is. And the stars are drones with lights on them. If you see my one video, and they also, if you've seen these silver balls that fly around in the sky, I've seen them in the day before, little silver balls flying around. Those were, that's just gotta be what they are in the day. That's what they are in the day, it's little silver balls. They, they call them UFOs. They're not UFOs, they're little drones, little silver ball drones that fly around and they move around. I see them in the daytime, one right over the houses, it's flying right over the house, a big silver ball, you know what I mean? And then it goes up and down and up in the, the sky, you're like, what the fuck is that? I, I showed it one to my nephew one, my nephew one time. I was like, you see that? He's like, yeah, I see it, Uncle Brooke, I see it. So, uh, yeah, you know, you know, you don't know what's in your sky. And then they, the stars, it moves just the way the stars do, like the drones with the lights on them and the, 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 the stars are, that's how that silver ball moves. That's what the silver balls are. I just, I thought about that today. I was like, yeah, those little silver balls that I saw, those have got to be the drones that are stars. Just, you know, it doesn't take forever to think of the truth and put it together here. Just don't, don't lay on one of them and go, oh, I don't believe that. It's too much for me to fathom. And, you know, no, Demi Moore isn't a, isn't a man. Yes, Demi Moore is a man, you know, and, and that's why, you know, if you look at girls, girls' feet, you know, look, you know, look at, look at my feet. Look at my feet. See, look at my legs. Don't those look like girl legs? See, look. See, look at my, look at that. That's, that's like, see, I'm like a girl. I'm like a girl. See, look at me. I'm like a girl. Look, I look more like a girl than a guy. See, look. See, when, I, when I'm outside, too, I get attention like a girl. Okay? I, I'm, people who know me know I'm bisexual, too. But that doesn't matter. That doesn't have anything to do with it. It's, look at my body. This is like a girl's body. You see what I'm saying? The girls that they show you in Hollywood, so this is what, what, the, what my body looks like, you know? So you, you need to think twice, okay, when you're looking at the women out there. You know, and I, I, I get guys, too. You know, I can get guys with, with my pretty feet and my legs. And I've had guys tell me, oh, my God, your legs are so sexy. You know, your feet and everything about you, you know what I mean? So don't, don't, and it's because I look like a girl, because you're looking at a girl. Most of the women you're looking at in Hollywood are like, like me. They have bodies like me. You know, this is what happens when a man gets older. You know, we get in better shape. We get, we, we, we age well. See, I'm not, I don't have hair loss. And all the, the men that they're showing you in Hollywood are all fat and bald. And, and, and that's not a real man. This is what a real man looks like right here, man. You've seen my videos. That I, that's a real man. I'm a real man, a vegan man. And most of the, the people who are uh, vegan 
like Madonna, and they take good care of themselves, that's when you'll start looking like me. You see what I'm saying? That's what a man looks like. Like Demi Moore and Madonna, real good shape athletes at 50, 50 years old, those kind of women. Yeah, that's a man. That's not a woman. Okay? Women, women are rotund and fat, you know what I mean? And they have big have babies, and they're soft and pudgy like my ex-girlfriend was, and you know what I mean? I'm bony and, 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 and muscles, and my girlfriend was fat and opposite of that. She was, you know, and uh, that's the way it is. That's the way it goes. She weighed 300 pounds, and I weighed 100. I weighed 130. Okay, and uh, and I, I could still poke her. I, I could still have sex with her and poke her better than anybody. You know what I mean? Because I'm built for that shit. Because I'm a man. All right, I'm a man with bones and a stick, a long stick, and I will get you with it. With my, with my, you know what? With my dick, motherfucker. That's right. And. Uh, you know, I'm here to let you know the fucking brutal fucking truth, you motherfucking pussies. All right, I'm sick of this goddamn bullshit, you know, and your pussy-ass attitude with everything you do. So I'm going to give it to you straight out, you know. And, uh, you know, that's this is the truth right here. This is the truth, the real truth, and nothing but the truth, you know. And uh, I got more brutal truth for you, too. My friend uh, got back from... Uh, Washington, and uh, was 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 walking was was got a job out there and stuff like that. But the most important thing he did, he was walking with deer. He was he was with deer, and he connected with some deer out there. I was walking. This is to you, Nico. Shout out to Nico out there. Flat power, Nico. This one's for you. I'm talking about one of my friends who actually showed one of his friends and a bunch of people my videos, and they started talking and got them going, and they started getting debates going and heated debates going. So people that watch my videos, you, you, everybody tell each other, everybody about my videos out there and start talking about my videos and, and the stuff I talk about and get those debates going, all right? Because that's what he was doing, and, and he got people talking about it, you know? But, uh, and, that, and that's good. That's what I want. That's what my videos are for. My videos are, are to get everybody out there talking, you know, and thinking, to get you thinking and arguing and, 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 and debating, you know? And, and, uh, and you come back to my videos and learn more, you know, because it's just pure truth, I'm going to tell you. And Nico, was, he said down there he was walking deer across the street. He got the deer to trust him. He got a job and he, and he moved away, but he got a, uh, a job. Uh, and and, uh, and the, the deer, he, he said he, he got a, the baby deer to come up and trust him and, and get up into his lap and he could pet it or, and come up to him and, and pet it. But the mother deer was looking at him like it was worried and he had to get to know the deer there. And then when he ended up crossing the street with the deer, he would walk to work and they would walk him to work. The deer would walk him to work. See, these are my friends. These are the kind of friends I'm talking to you about, that they're doing important things. This is important. We need to connect with deer. You know, like, oh, deer, you know, and, and everything we do, the, the words deer, are you dear to my heart? You know, why would you be dear to my heart if the deer wasn't important? We got the earth, the sun, and the deer, and the animals. But remember, the deer is an important animal. Birds and deer are very important to this earth. Deer, if, especially the deer. If you can connect with the deer, you're connecting with the part of your earth that you're missing. I mean, and, and that, that we used to connect with all the time. We used to walk with deer. We used to, that's what you should be doing every day is be, be hanging out with deer. Every day, you should wake up to deer and have deer around you and, and, and look into their eyes and, and communicate with deer and, and spend time with deer. And that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna take off from here and go talk to people about truth and, 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 and find some deer. And I'm gonna touch a deer and pet a deer and that's what he did. He was walking across the street with him, and he said when they walked across the street, they, they, were, they were careful to send two bucks out to walk him across the street when he went to work. The deer talk, were communicating with each other and sent two big bucks out with the horns to walk Nico across the street and the baby. Like they knew which ones to send, okay? He said it was amazing, these deer, how smart they are, okay? You wouldn't believe how smart deer are. Deer know exactly what the hell is going on. And for a person to get to, tr to trust a deer and a, tr a deer to come up to you, you must be an outstanding individual. And you're, it shows you how, how close your heart is to the deer and the sun and how they're all connected through dreams, through reality, in reality. And the reality that we had before they chopped down the big trees is we used to be in forests all the time in the forests with the deer and the animals. You know, and that's what we need to do again and reconnect with those those sides of us, that's who we truly are. And that's who, and that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm taking off for. I'm not going to sit around and let these chemtrails invade my sky and, 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 and just come swarming on me every day and, and take away my happiness and, and, and stay here and, and look at this computer screen every day 
and, and, and watch myself die here like a fucking idiot. Okay? Have a great day. Flat power to all of you. I love you, and I'm taking off soon. Who's going north with me?